G'day golfers and welcome to the channel. Well today is all about learning how to spin your chips. We need to be able to get some more backspin on our chip shots, especially for a shot like this where we've got a, a flight over a bunker and we want to be able to control that ball when it gets on the green and it's all to do with a simple adjustment to your setup that's really going to help you to spin those chip shots. Now if you're new to this channel then please consider subscribing, we've got the button in the corner there and hit the little bell for notifications of new videos we bring out new content every week. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros. So this is a typical shot that we all face from time to time around the greens. Shot over the bunker, got a little bit of green to work with but not a great deal. And this really isn't that difficult a shot. But if you're not putting any spin on your chips, then the ball's gonna roll out. I've got a lob wedge here, and this is typically what I see. ball runs and runs, doesn't really get up as high as it should and there's definitely not a lot of backspin on it. Why? Well it's because I hooked that chip. I see a lot of golfers square or close the face when they're using a lot of loft and I think it's because when they get over the ball and they see all of that loft on the club they get a little bit scared of it so they want to shut it down and I see a lot of golfers bring that club on the inside and actually put hook spin on their chips and which is going to really reduce the amount of backspin and reduce your control when the ball gets on the green. So what do we do? Well obviously we need to learn how to open that club face but therein lies the problem. I've worked with a lot of golfers with this. They set up and I ask them, I encourage them to open the club face a little bit so that they can get more height and more spin and they, they look down at the club and they oh no, I can't hit that, it doesn't look right and, and they really get afraid of, of seeing all of that loft turning their 60 degree wedge or their sand wedge up a few degrees and it really does make a difference to how much spin and how much control we get over those shots. So we're going to go through a learning process here. What I want you to do is, is hit a few shots with an open club face but not towards the target. So what I mean by that is we're going to set up to the golf ball, aim parallel to the target here and then we're going to turn the club face to the right for a right-hander. So we're going to open that club face, zoom in there so we can see it, and then I want you to hit a shot for a right-hander to the right, for a left-hander to the left. So a little bit longer swing than before, and you can see already that's popped up higher, a lot more spin on the shot, and yes it's gone to the right-hand side. Don't just hit one of these, I want you to get used to hitting some shots with an open club face. So set up normally for a chip shot, narrow stance, fairly close to the golf ball and turn that club face. Now it's really important to turn the club face first and then grip the club. If you were to grip the club normally and then just turn open like this, you can see that I've just turned my wrists, there's a good chance you're going to just turn them back again to, to where you normally would hit a shot. So turn the club first, open it up, then grip the club and then swing through towards the target and up she goes. Lots of spin, lots of stoppage, nowhere near the target, but we'll get there. But what we're doing here is we're getting used to hitting some shots, even just used to looking at an open club face and seeing all of that loft. And bear in mind that obviously we need a little bit longer swing because we're adding loft. So we're turning your sandwich into a lob wedge, we're turning your lob wedge into a 65 or even a 70 degree loft club. So you need a little bit more energy, a bit more power. Now the next step's really key. And I, I don't want you to just hit two of those, hit 10, hit 20. Get on the chipping green and get used to hitting some shots with that open club face. Get comfortable with it. So the next step is obviously to bring it around towards the target. Now watch what I do. Typically this is what a lot of golfers do when they open the stance. They just turn their feet like this. Now, that doesn't work. We haven't really set up properly to the golf ball. It's ineffectual and the trail leg is going to get in the way. And then what we see is, is a lot of in to out swings and that's where that hook shot comes from. They've turned their feet, but they're just twisting their body up and, and not really setting up to swing to the left for a right hander, which is exactly what we need to do. So watch how I do this. So set up the club, turn it to the open side, hold, and then I want you to walk around in a little circle here. And that's about as far as you need go. So there I've properly opened my stance. From a side on view, it looks like I've got the ball way forward in my stance now. That's fine. 
it's between my feet as I'm looking at it. Because I've gone around in a semicircle and not just turned my feet, I've actually effectually improved the ball position so it's, it's comfortable for me. It's opposite my heart where I play a lot of my short game shots and so should you and long game shots as well. But it's adding loft to the shot. As we come around this circle here, we're adding loft to the club and it's a lot easier for us to slide that club under the ball and get it towards the target. Right, so let's have another go. This time I'm gonna go for the target. So open that club face, open side, then hold the club, walk around in a circle, nice long swing. Oh my goodness, up she goes, and look at the stoppage on that. So see how much different that was from a closed face, hooking it, which is a ball that rolled oh, 10, 12 meters, maybe more, to a shot with an open club face, different setup, different result. A lot higher, a lot more spin, a lot more stoppage, a lot more control over the shot. Yes, I needed a longer swing. And when you're hitting over something like this and you want to put some high, soft control on the golf ball, then you are gonna need a longer swing. So it's gonna take some practice. But this isn't a full lob shot. It's not the full wristy Phil Mickelson shot. You don't need that. Play something that's going to be quite consistent. We're just sliding the club along the grass. It's, it's a higher risk shot than playing a square club face, yes, but with a little bit of practice, it really can stand you in good stead. The other thing to bear in mind is, when you do open the club face, watch the, leading, the bottom edge here. Watch that bottom edge. As I open the club face, the bottom edge now drops. That means I have more bounce. <laughs> bounce is your friend. Really gonna help you through those soft lies, spongy grass, into the grain. It's really gonna help you cope with some tricky lies out in the golf course. So opening the face can actually make a shot easier. Play that one more time. So we go through that step by step. Club face down at the target, then open it. Up to you how much. But start with just a few degrees and then you can build it up. You can really open it up to 90 degrees if you want to, but that really does take a longer swing. Let's say I'm gonna open it 10 degrees here. Then hold the club, walk around in a little semicircle there. So the club face is pretty much at the target, but my body is aligned to the open side. And here's the important thing, swing along your body. Don't wanna swing out towards the target there. This is what a lot of people struggle with. So we're now open to the target, swing along the body, nice long swing, and up she goes. Next to the pin, lots of spin, lots of stoppage, and it's played this shot as easily as it should be, not made it harder. Thanks so much for watching. Well, there you go. Just a simple setup change can really transform your short game shots, help you with a lot more control, add a little bit of bounce to your sand wedge and your lob wedge as well. You're gonna cope with some trickier lies, and actually it helps you to be more aggressive with some of those shots as well, because you can be more confident that the ball's gonna stop. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is gonna take a little bit of practice. Just looking at that open club face, it scares a lot of people. And that's why I want you to play that shot to the open side. Just hit a few shots, 10, 12 shots, and let it go to the right for a right-hander, to the left for a left-hander. And that way you're just gonna get more comfortable with looking at an open club face, hitting shots with an open club face, and getting that club to slide underneath the golf ball. You'll be amazed at how much extra height and spin you can achieve around the greens. We look forward to seeing you next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?